Let's talk about Strapi. Strapi is an open source, headless CMS built using JavaScript. Strapi also gives you a really nice user interface to add and manage your data while also giving you a bunch of REST APIs to fetch that data. That simply means Strapi does not dictate how to write your views. You can write your views in any of the frameworks or libraries like React, Angular or Vue and then simply make an API call to Strapi REST API to fetch that data and render it on the screen however you like. In order to get started with Strapi on your local machine, you are going to need few tools installed on your computer. Number one is Node.js, anywhere between version 12 to 16, npx to install node binaries, and npm which is node package manager version 6. Now the version that I mentioned for the tools are very important because Strapi only currently works with these versions of node and npm. Now once you have the tools installed required for Strapi, you are going to go ahead and enter this command in the command line. This command is basically to start a brand new project of Strapi. You can replace the keyword my dash project with the project name that you would like to give and the quick start flag basically telling Strapi to use SQL Lite. You can configure Strapi to use with other databases as well. For example, MongoDB and MySQL. Now for me, I'll head over to VS Code and enter this command in command line to get started with Strapi. Once you're in your code editor, we would like to first confirm all the right tools are installed properly. I'll go ahead and enter node-v. As you can see, for me the node version is 16.14.2 which is exactly what we need for Strapi. Let's confirm npm version as well. So I have 8.5.0 which is okay. Any npm version greater than 6 will work. Now let's confirm if we have npx installed. So I'll type npx-v. Awesome. So I have npx installed as well. I'll clear these up. And now I will enter the command that I mentioned earlier to get started with Strap. Now this is the command that we would like to use to get started with Strapi. Here I am basically naming my project as Strapi-getting-started with a quick start flag. I'll hit enter. Now once the installation is finished, just go ahead and open the project in your code editor. I have opened it in VS Code. Now in order to run Strapi server, I'll go ahead and enter npm run develop command. Now this will basically start Strapi server at port 133. But you can also change the port in config settings. Now once the server is up and running, you will be redirected to this admin page to basically create admin credentials. So I'll go ahead and enter all my credentials and then click let's start. Now this is the admin dashboard where you can manage your data and also create REST API. Let's, so let's go ahead and create your first content type. I will click on create new collection type and give it a name post. Strapi will automatically create an API ID in plural. Hit continue. Let's add fields. I will add another field and just hit finish. Now we have added two fields to post content type. I will click save. Now once the content type is saved, we'll go ahead and add some data to that content type. So I'll go to content manager and click on create new entry. Enter the title and hit save. By default, once you hit save, your post is still not published. So just click on publish. Now if you go to localhost 1337 slash API slash post. Now as you can see this API endpoint is forbidden because we have not told Strapi to give this API a public access. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go to dashboard again, click on settings, go to roles, edit public role and this is our content type post. So what we'll do is we'll give Strapi permission to make it public, find and find one and hit save. Now if I go back to my browser tab and refresh, now I see my data saved in Strapi CMS. Let me go ahead and create another post for you guys to see how easy it is to manage data in Strapi. Hit save. Let me publish this post as well. Now if I refresh, I see another post as well. This is how easy it is to manage content using Strapi CMS. As you can see, Strapi gives you a bunch of REST APIs to access your data and then you can write your views in whichever library or framework you like. This is what makes Strapi so powerful tool. It does not dictate your views while also giving you bunch of REST APIs and super friendly CMS to add and manage your data. Now this is pretty much it for Strapi intro course. I'll be posting a crash course to Strapi by end of next week. So make sure you come back for that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.